especially true in developing brains. And there's actually an extensive data out of a laboratory at University of California, Santa Barbara, talking about how mothers who supplement omega-3s, in particular the EPAs, although they also need to get the DHAs, that leads to greater brain weights and health of offspring. This is something we will definitely explore in a future episode, likely with an expert guest who's doing that work in that laboratory at UC Santa Barbara. The point here is that if somebody has a limited budget to purchase supplements and cannot afford a foundational supplement in the sort that we talked about earlier, athletic greens or similar, but they do have a budget that would allow them to purchase a high quality omega-3 fatty acid fish oil that would, and to ingest it in quantities sufficient enough to get above that one gram of EPA per day. Again, this is really important. If you look at the product labels, you'll often see, you know, 1500 or 1600 um, milligrams of essential fatty acids. But the key is you get above that one gram of EPA per day threshold and as high as three grams per day. We had a guest on this podcast, Dr. Rhonda Patrick, who 